Hey guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 14 of our build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp. And in this video, we'll be talking about creating pipeline project for .NET application for build and testing. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 11, 12 and 13 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. So in our previous video, we discussed how to create a freestyle project for a .NET application and how to build the application, restore the NuGet packages, and how to run an NUnit test without using the plugins, rather directly using the tools to perform those operations. It's just pretty straightforward and very, very easy as well. And now we are going to do exactly the same thing using a pipeline instead of doing with the freestyle. Right. So for that, I'm going to hop over to our Jenkins and I will show you how to do all those operations using pipelines project. Right. So for that, I'm going to flip to Jenkins. So this is the one which we are working on in our previous video. Right. So I'm going to go to the dashboard again and I'm going to click this new item. And this time I'm going to choose the pipeline and let's call this as .NET pipeline and hit OK. So this time we're going to run with the pipeline and once again for the pipeline it is going to be pretty much the same thing instead of the UI we are going to make use of what is called as a Jenkins file right this is the groovy script again and you know what is the syntax we can just go to the pipeline syntax and do the operation pretty much exactly like what we did for Java. So what I'm going to do this time is instead of going to the pipeline syntax once again and drilling down what is the each and every operation for Windows batch script and all those things because we know what is really be, it's going to be I'm going to do a try this time maybe what I'm going to do is like I can go to the localhost 8080 once again and I'm going to go to the .NET freestyle project and I'm going to cheat or maybe I can I'm going to copy some of the commands from here and then I'm going to execute that. So basically we know what is this. So I'm going to copy this. So if you go to the git and if you're going to paste this thing in here and if you just generate a pipe, you can see that all it's going to put is the git and there is a colon. That's it, right? So I'm going to do this. So maybe I'm going to do a stage and I'm going to specify checkout, checkout code, right? So this is the first stage. And then there is one more stage where we can specify maybe what is called as a build, right? Or first of all, we need to restore NuGet package. So restore NuGet. So for restoring the NuGet, we know what is the command. So if I go to the .NET freestyle, we just gave this particular command. And this command we are going to execute using what is called as a Windows batch script, right? So I'm going to paste this and generate and you can see all it's doing is this bat of this command pretty much exactly the same thing right so I'm going to copy that I'm going to paste it over here that's it and then there is one more stage which is going to be the build stage where it is going to run the MS build so for building what I'm going to do again bat and I can just copy the command from here and I can paste it so for the build, all it's going to do is it's going to call the MS build and it's going to perform. But since this time it's going to be a little different, maybe I can just do this. I can go over here. But you will figure out that there won't be such kind of command here because there is nothing like that. So instead of doing that, we have to go with our what is called as a Windows batch script. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste some of the code that I have already written for this particular project. You can see that it's a bat and then I'm going to tool. I'm going to specify the build, which is nothing but the MS build here, right? And then this is the solution name. And then I have to run this in a debug mode and the platform is any CPU and product version is this, right? So this is the one change that we have to specify here then compared to what it had before with the freestyle project right that's the only big change i guess so we have a checkout we have a restore we have a build and finally we have to add one more stage here we can call it as a testing stage or test stage and here once again i have to run what is called as this command right this tll file so again i'm just going to call the bat and then i'm going to paste it over here something like this right there we go so we have a checkout restore build and test right now that's it that is the only 
great change that we are going to make for the pipeline project and then I'm going to save it. So now I'm just going to build this pipeline project and see what's really going to happen. If we get any error, cross my finger. Oops, I guess we got an error very quickly. Hmm. It says there's an unexpected error. All right. I guess we have to go to configuration here for this. And let's try to remove this double course. I guess because of this double course, there is some problem being happening. And that's the reason it was. And also, this is going to be not double slash because in the world of uh, Groovy, you have to specify a backslash for front slash for everything. So I think that's the another reason why it is showing us an error. So I did not notice that before while changing it. I think right now we're good, right? C colon tools, C colon tools. All right, I'm gonna save it. And now if I try to build it, just cross my finger. No, mm -hmm. we got an error while doing a checkout required contest class Hudson launcher is missing oh I'm so sorry remember in our previous videos we were running this under a node so you can see that if I give this a node if I don't give this node it is not gonna run so we have to do a configuration once again I don't know what happened to me today it's just running out of mind maybe I have to specify that before and I'm gonna specify everything under a node block something like this right so I'm gonna save it and now if I try to run this finally I guess this time it is going to execute yep so right now you can see that the code checkout is really happening and restored NuGet is also happening and then we need to have a build and test boom build is very fast and finally the test so the test should open the browser I guess the browser is opening there we go so first test got passed for the Xeo automation website and the next test is going to run for the Google website yep it's happening for the Google website the test got succeeded right now at least the build got succeeded this time without any problem because we have all these stages being executed right so this is how you can perform an operation for the pipeline in the dotnet project right so that's it guys this is how you can see that how easy it is to perform and execute an operation in pipeline and as compared to a freestyle project and I guess the the pipeline is really really awesome because it is more like an intuitive and you just specify a few lines of code here and the code is also not very great code here just you specify the stage and or the command that you specify and then you save it and run it you get the answer very quickly along with a very good visual experience right so that's it guys from our next video we'll start working on how to perform the same kind of operation maybe in a little twist we can configure an emailing client and see how we can send an email once the build is fully done so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day